hereditary cancer, the kind that contributes to about 5 to 10 percent of breast cancer, we usually see people who've had cancer in multiple generations in a family, and as Kim pointed out very early in the show, it was diagnosed at an early age. Sometimes we see lots of different kinds of primary cancers, and there are several that we'll talk about in a minute that are all related to these BRCA1 and BRCA2 genes. And finally, this is what we call dominant inheritance. You only need to get this gene from one parent. And as I pointed out earlier, and it's really important to remember, it can be from your father or your mother. That's right. So that's a really important thing for people to remember. Mm. Now, we talked about these BRCA1 and 2 genes, and these mutations are the ones that we know now, at least, cause most of the hereditary breast cancer. But as we've discussed, there, we think there are a lot of other genes out there. And we've talked about them being tumor suppressor genes, then when they have these mutations or changes, that they don't actually suppress or block the tumors. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like taking away a roadblock that keeps the cancer from developing. Mm -hmm. These slides here show us some of the things about what the lifetime risks are. This BRCA1 associated cancers, we see for people who have that, they have about a 50 to 85 percent chance of getting breast cancer at some point in their life, usually at a younger age, they have a 40 to 60 percent chance of getting a second primary breast cancer or first breast cancer, and a 15 to 45 percent chance of getting ovarian cancer. So that's a really important thing for us to remember. We also see, and you'll notice this down at the bottom of the slide, an increased risk of male breast cancer. Mm -hmm. And so if you have a family history of a man get in your family getting breast cancer, that's a pretty big warning sign because men don't get breast cancer very often. And they, they also can have early onset prostate cancer as well with this genetic change. Now for BRCA2, we also see the male breast cancer more, we see the ovarian cancer, but that's less of a risk actually than for BRCA1. But here the prostate cancer goes up to 20% in men, and we also see an increased risk of pancreatic cancer and cancer of the larynx, which we often usually see just in smokers. So these are things to be aware of as well, and make sure that if you know that you have one of these genetic mutations, any doctor who helps take care of you should know that you have these. Hi, I'm Dr. Jay Harness, and I want to share with you important information that I believe that every newly diagnosed patient with breast cancer needs to know. I'm a breast cancer survivor. I am a breast cancer survivor. I am a breast cancer survivor. And I want every woman to know about personalized breast cancer treatment and the genomic test. A test that helps guide a woman and her doctor to the best treatment options for her. Pass it on.